Hi friends, welcome back to our tutorials. This is Angular 17 full tutorial series for absolute beginners as well as expert developers joining us from previous versions of Angular. The modules, the modular architecture continues to remain same in Angular 17. If you want to build an Angular application using modules, it's still compatible. Do not think that Angular 17 is not backward compatible. That being said, there are different types of modules when you are designing complex applications. This episode is to walk you through few types of modules that are often used in large enterprise applications. Let's get started. This is part 20 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 19 episodes, make sure that you go through them in order to learn and master Angular 17 with me end to end. Especially there are a lot of breaking changes in Angular 17 which you as a developer must be aware when you're working on this particular version. Especially go through the episodes 12, 13, 14, 15 and 19. Those are the ones where I covered the breaking changes. All right, so today we'll not be coding, but this is more of a theoretical session because you have to understand how the architecture of Angular is done. There are mainly three different types of modules that you organize the code into. The first, is the feature modules. Feature modules are additional modules created to organize and encapsulate features of an application. They promote modularity, maintainability by grouping related components, directives and services. The second one is the shared module. Shared modules are modules created to share common components, directives, pipes, etc. across different feature modules. This helps in writing rest less code, avoid redundancy and contain maintain a consistent look and feel. The third type of module is the lazy loading module. Now lazy loading modules are nothing but which are you loaded using load children property in route configuration. The lazy loading allows module to be loaded only on demand and not on the page load. And hence, it improves the overall performance as well as the security of the application. Now, I'm going to show you in, in pseudo code of how you organize these codes. Remember, these are all again, just modules, okay? Just modules, but how you organize, how you use them, makes them into different modules. Let me show you example of it. All right, so let me close all of this here. We don't need terminal today. I'm going to open the notes. All right. So this is episode number 20 and we are learning types of modules. All right. So the first one is feature module. Now, when you're building a complex application, let's say you may have different features like say payments, users in our application, it's crew. Then we can build airline airlines right and you can say uh, say payments invoices right etc uh, etc et these are all can be categorized as a feature okay this can be one feature module which is payments which can be used separately so everything related to payments will be under this particular module same way everything that we will do with users can be under one feature like how we are building here, we have a users module, we have add, edit, um, you know, add, delete, modify, etc. All that search users, all of that will go inside the users module. That will become your feature module. Now, when you talk about shared module, now shared module means, let's say you have uh, some common components, let's say authentication, authorization, and say um, footer, right? All of this can be called shared modules because they can be used somewhere else, right? You can just create them once and use them anywhere in the other modules. That's why they are called shared modules because you write the code once and reuse them everywhere else. Now, lazy loading module. Now, these are type of feature modules, but they are loaded only on demand. On demand means when, let's say you are in home page. Home page. Now, you don't need to load the payments module right away. Yes. Now you might want to load say users module because you need the user information, but payments you need to add only in 
cart or say checkout page that's where you will load payments module so that means when user goes to checkout page that that's when you have to load payments module that's when we use the lazy loading that means we load this mod module only when it is required and otherwise we will not that way it improves the performance of the page and the security i will be covering all of this in detail as we start building but this is a initial basic knowledge and understanding that you should have remember three different types of modules you would see in a complex enterprise application feature modules which are nothing but you divide the features into separate modules shared modules are the ones that can be written once reused into the modules multiple times anywhere in the application lazy loading module is created in the route using load children and is loaded only when required that's why they are called lazy loading modules i hope the theory is clear i hope different types of modules are clear because when you build complex applications these are the strategies you would use to build a large maintainable application in the next episode i'll cover about the lazy loading module in detail after that we start the data binding interpolation and much much more i'm going to cover everything that you need to learn and master angular 17 so stay tuned please do hit that like button please do hit that subscribe button for me thank you so much and i'll see you in the next episode